Welcome back, adventurers. Today we're diving into Chapter 4 of our showcase series featuring SKSE plugins without any ESP. Your love for SKSE plugins has brought us all the way to this fourth installment. Once again, we've gathered a collection of SKSE plugins that will undoubtedly be of great help to you. And don't worry, we didn't forget the essence of SKSE plugins. These gems of customizability and optimization are ready to make your Skyrim experience even more epic. So, sit back, relax, and let's venture forth into the world of no ESP, no problem. The best SKSE plugins for a customized Skyrim experience, Chapter 4. Allow me to introduce the first mod, MCO Block Recovery. It's an SKSE add-in for MCO that not only allows blocking during the recovery period, but also addresses ignored blocking inputs. In the vanilla game, if you hold the block button while attacking, you will immediately start the blocking animation right after the attack animation ends. However, with MCO Block Recovery, the block button remains inactive until you press it after the attack animation has finished. Thanks to this add-in, you can seamlessly hold the block button while attacking, smoothly transitioning into the blocking animation, resulting in a more fluid combat experience. What's even better is that this feature enables you to block during the motion recovery period, similar to how movement is unlocked. To top it off, you can choose between two versions, dual wielding or no dual wielding, based on your preference during installation. Next, allow me to introduce the next mod called Skill of Sneaking. Skill of Sneaking is an SKSE plugin that enhances the sneak skill by granting a configurable amount of sneak XP when the player successfully steals an object undetected while sneaking. The amount of sneak XP gained is determined by multiplying the value of the stolen object with a user-defined multiplier, which is set to 0.05 by default. Thanks to this mod, you can now improve your sneak skill by skillfully stealing items while remaining undetected. If you want to customize the XP gain, you can easily adjust the multiplier by accessing the F Sneaks P Gain Mult setting in the Skill of Sneaking Dainai file. With Skill of Sneaking, you'll have the opportunity to hone your sneaking abilities and become an even more proficient thief in the world of Skyrim. Next, I'd like to introduce the mod called Sure of Stealing SKSE, which was previously featured in the article Discover New Realms, Hottest Skyrim Mods of the Fourth Week in June 2023. If you've ever accidentally stolen an object while not sneaking, this mod is here to save the day. Sure of Stealing is a simple SKSE plugin that prevents those frustrating moments when you unintentionally take someone else's belongings. Once you have this mod installed, you'll no longer have to worry about accidentally stealing objects while not in sneak mode. The mod achieves this by introducing a clever mechanic to steal an object while not sneaking. All you need to do is activate the target object twice in a row. This prevents any accidental thefts and ensures that you have full control over your actions. The mod I'm introducing this time is Go to Bed Light. Go to Bed Light adds a realistic animation of your character lying down on a bedroll when you attempt to sleep. You might already be familiar with the beloved Go to Bed mod, but I want to introduce Go to Bed Light because it offers an alternative version, which is an SKSE plugin without the need for an ESP. This means you can now enjoy the mod's features without cluttering your load order. Using the mod is simple. Just click on the bedroll and your character will gracefully lie down. From there, press the wait key and a sleep duration menu will appear, allowing you to choose how long you want to rest. When you're ready to wake up, just press the movement keys to get up from the bedroll. This mod is an excellent recommendation for players who desire a more immersive sleeping experience while using bedrolls. For those who have been using Go to Bed and wish for increased stability and a lighter plug-in setup, Go to Bed Light is a perfect choice. The mod I'm introducing this time is called Lockpicking for Barbarians. Lockpicking for Barbarians is an SKSE plugin that allows you to unlock locked containers by power attacking them with a two-handed weapon. Now, you don't need to rely on lockpicking to open locked containers. Instead, you can wield a two-handed weapon and break open the locked containers with a powerful strike. While there were many lock-breaking mods before, they all required ESP plugins. However, Lockpicking for Barbarians is an exceptional mod composed solely of an SKSE plugin, which makes it truly remarkable. Moreover, this mod limits the lock-breaking feature to two-handed weapons, making it incredibly useful when envisioning a playthrough with a barbarian concept. 
You can further customize the mod's behavior through the two settings provided in Lockpicking for Barbarians.ni. These settings allow you to toggle the use of stamina and two-handed actor values in determining whether the player can unlock a lock. The mod I'm introducing this time is Improved Camera SE. Although I mentioned it recently, I want to introduce it again, as this segment focuses solely on SKSE plugins. This mod is highly significant for enhancing the first-person perspective. Improved Camera SE is an SKSE plugin that takes immersion to a whole new level in your gaming experience. It allows you to fully embody a first-person body, and enables playing typically forced third-person animations from a first-person perspective. With Improved Camera SE, you'll experience the game world from a first-person perspective like never before. It introduces a first-person body through the SKSC plugin and extends the first-person view to a wide range of animations that are usually limited to third-person. This includes crafting, horse riding, werewolf and vampire lord transformations, dragon riding, and virtually any situation where the game restricts you to a third-person view. The mod I'm introducing this time is called Stats of Stealing. Stats of Stealing is an SKSE plugin designed to provide a deeper and more immersive experience for thieving characters in Skyrim. This mod adds a level of tracking and progression to the act of stealing items. When you use this mod, every time you steal a coin purse or an item from a container, it will increment the item stolen miscellaneous stat in the game. This means that your character's thieving exploits will now be reflected in the game's statistics giving a sense of progression and achievement to your larcenous activities. Additionally, the mod offers an optional feature. If enabled, it will also increment the item stolen stat for each loose gold coin you pilfer from the world. So, not only will your successful heists of containers and coin purses be tracked, but every individual gold coin you steal will also contribute to your character's thieving reputation. This detailed tracking system provides role-playing opportunities and a way to measure your character's growth as a master thief throughout your adventures in Skyrim. Whether you're a skilled pickpocket, a daring burglar, or just enjoy a bit of mischief, the Stats of Stealing mod adds depth and significance to your thieving endeavors. The mod I'm introducing this time is called Eat Tome's Four Known Spells. Eat Tome's Four Known Spells is an SKSE plugin that introduces a unique mechanic to the game. With this mod, players can consume spell tomes for spells they already know. When a spell tome is eaten, it restores magicka based on the level of the spell, accompanied by an eating sound effect. The amount of magicka restored varies depending on the grade of each spell tome. For example, novice spell tome restores 10 magicka, whereas master spell tome restores 50 magicka. This mod adds an interesting twist to the game allowing players to gain magicka replenishment by consuming spell tomes they no longer need for learning spells. It provides a different approach to managing magicka reserves and encourages players to make strategic choices with their spell tomes during their adventures in Skyrim. And that concludes our journey through Chapter 4 of the No ESP No Problem series. We hope you've enjoyed exploring these incredible SKSE plugins that enrich your Skyrim adventure without any ESP files. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest and greatest in the world of Skyrim modding. Thank you, adventurers, for joining us on this exciting quest. Until next time, may your adventures be epic, and may your modded Skyrim experience be unforgettable. Happy gaming, and see you in the next chapter.